Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time I'm sitting in a German tornado. As you can see, I'm armed with uh, just two sidewinders under my wings. I'm unable to carry the Amrams, just the uh, UK tornadoes or the Royal Air Force tor tornadoes were equipped with Amrams. Germans didn't. And I'm carrying also two Mark 84 bombs under my uh, fuselage together with uh, two external fuel tanks. So let's go for the takeoff. Dolphin two one. Request taxi. Looks like I'm somehow very Dolphin far from one. the taxi. Runway one six left. Hold short. One six left. So it's the opposite way. And the left base. Okay. Two, oh, there are some units on the runway. I just saw them at the moment to make sure that the runway is clear. Okay, looks like so. Oh, it's destroyed. So the right base is destroyed, as you can see. There are two hits on this runway and uh, two hits in this part of the runway. That's why we are taking off from the left base, which seems to be shorter. I didn't check the amount of fuel which uh, Tornado is able to carry when it is like uh, without, without external fuel tanks. So I cannot set the bingo fuel warning correctly. But doesn't matter, it's okay. My target is the uh, split chemical Dolphin plant. Two one. Request clearance for departure. Dolphin 2 1. Boya del Cole. Power. Position and hold. Runway 1 6 left. 1 6 left, okay. So there are two interesting buildings in this uh, split chemical factory. One was the laboratory, second was the warehouse. So hopefully I should be able to hit both of these buildings. That's why I'm carrying like two bombs. I hope that both of them will be uh, damaged or destroyed. Dolphin, two, okay, one. let's go Boya for the takeoff. You are cleared for takeoff. Runway one six left. Depart heading one one. I don't five. know why my wingman is still standing on his place. He's like not moving. You can see the crater here, <laughs> created by the by some bomb. Okay, let's go for the takeoff. Let's do not block the runway. Oh, this is the end of the runway. Hopefully I'll be able to take off. 200. Okay. Altitude. Altitude. Easy. Altitude. 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 115 was the departure. Dolphin 2-1. Boya del Cole. Departure. Resume own navigation. Dolphin 2-1. Roger. Resuming all navigation. So, I'm not equipped with uh, any AMRAMs whatsoever. I need to stay somehow uh, low and stealthy. I do not want to be visible for Dolphin enemy fighters. Power. Position and hold. Runway one six left. Okay, it seems that my wingman is going for the takeoff just now. Let's select up steer point. Five, which is the target. Okay, according to the information on my on my head-up display, the distance to the uh, steel point five is 152 miles. I'll be there in 17 minutes. But before I go there, let's uh, set up something. Okay. Master arm on. Two, airborne. Program for selected. Lights off. Perfect. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to stay low as this. It will increase my fuel consumption, but on the other side I will be uh, hopefully a little bit stealthy, so... I'm getting really fast, so I need to level up. I switched off the warning of the uh, 300 meters, or oh, sorry, feet. So now I can fly lower and there will be no warning about the low altitude, which is great. But on the other side is sound coming from my... This aerodynamic sound is really annoying, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. As you can see, I'm in 100 feet only, and there is no altitude warning. Okay, spike from MiG-25, uh, sorry, <laughs> not the MiG, uh, SU-25 probably. And just because the SU-25 doesn't have any radar, this is the SU-39 attack aircraft with the ground radar. I should be able to destroy it with my sidewinders without any problems. Is flying. I'm still losing the altitude, so I have to level up slightly. I don't want to hit the water. What is the altitude? 80, 86, 85, so, so still losing the altitude. 84. 83, okay, let's pull up slightly, 84, now I'm going higher, let's push a little bit, oh, it's too much. So that's these two Suhois, I'm going to attack them. Zero zero five. So the Sukhois are no more. There was no information about the Sukhois. Okay, F sixteen is there. Three five five forty miles ten thousand. Okay, also very low. I'm going to continue towards the target. Such a nice aircraft, I love it. I love how it looks like. It looks like pretty mean fighter, but it was more likely an attack aircraft than the fighter. Okay, 102 miles to the target. 
10 minutes. I don't want to use the time compression from, for obvious reasons. In 100 feet it's not very healthy. So I need to maintain control all the time. Seven feet, 78, okay, I'm climbing slightly, 79, 80 feet, 81. I will somehow oscillate like this, slowly going up, slowly going down, I can't level up the aircraft correctly. Hopefully they won't be able to see me on the radar. That's my only hope here. So I can st I can say stealthy. Now fuel tanks are almost empty. That's so nice. Perfect effect. By the way, there is no such effect in a DCS. <laughs> Just to mention that. So if you are flying low over the ground or over the sea, there is no effect whatsoever. Like, like there was no plane. Zero forty miles, okay. It's left from me in ten thousand feet. I can see some coast already in front of me. Chalice two, be advised, hostile launch activity detected, full time zero three zero one hundred sixty miles. I need to pay attention to that. I don't do not want to collide into some island. minutes to target four and a half minute to be exact 44 miles okay the steer point five is visible even on my HSD 
I need to climb slightly. It looks like the sea is not completely <laughs> leveled here. Looks like there are slight hills on the on the level. Okay, SU is seeing me. That's not good. It's such a bad situation, they are able to see me. Make 29 in front of me, okay. To do. Dolphin to one century two. Picture is multiple groups. Nearest and at bearing zero zero five twenty miles. Twenty six thousand. You know what to do? If you don't know what to do, simply fly home. There is no match between me and uh, SU-27 SM or MiG-29 armed with some R-77s M. I do not want to lose these uh, two tornadoes, so I'm heading home. Going to jettison these uh, two bombs. bring them home. Okay. Uh, return to base. Dolphin 2-2, two -two, return to base. 2, I'm a dot. Fuel tanks, fuel tanks still not uh, completely empty. Look at the wingman, what he's doing. Okay, rejoin me. And let's fly with me if you can't return to, ho to home plate without me. MiG-29 still behind me. Let me check his attitude. Dolphin 2, Sentry 2, nearest thread, Logie Singleton, bearing 350, 30 miles, 25,000. 25,000, so I'm higher than he is. It's just single aircraft. But I can't turn back, basically. He's too close for that. And I've already dropped my, bom my bombs, so... There is no point for me to return back home. Maybe I will pick uh, this tornado once again in later parts of this uh, campaign when there will be no no bandits. At least I hope so that there will be no bandits once. So I can fly without any problems over the enemy territory and do whatever whatever I want. Look at the fuel flow, how it goes down once I got into pretty decent altitude. It's really going low. I'm at 1.78 Mach. That's fast speed of this aircraft, it's amazing. Okay, I can probably drop the external fuel tanks. Looks like so. So I'm going to do that. Uh, tank and tank. Okay. Perfect. 
Now let's select the cut one. And I should be even faster. 1.93 Mach. 95. Oh, I will reach like 2 Machs. That's perfect. And two Machs. There you are. That's amazing aircraft. It would be ideal if it could carry at least two Amrams. It would be perfect for me. 2.03 Mach at 45 thousand feet. It's 62 miles to the tar uh, to the home base and I'll be there in three minutes. Just imagine such travel. I'd like to travel 60 miles in three minutes. Pretty nice, right? Okay, let's fly higher so my Mach number will be even higher. Just because it's thinner air, so the uh, sound is slowing down. It's closing to zero. The less air there is, the lower the sound uh, speed of sound is. So you can easily able to achieve the higher higher Mach numbers. But it has some limitation, right? So I mean, the, in a jet engine, which needs. Uh, oxygen in order to be working so you can't fly too high you simply don't have enough power Patriot is active so probably something still behind me let me check with Navax so I mean 50 to 53,000 feet. Let's speed up a little bit. Although I don't know whether I will be able to fly faster than 500 knots. But it's like 2.0 Mach already. So as you can see, the 500 knots at such altitude is two times the speed of the sound. And on the, on the sea level, it's not even the speed of sound. So let's fly straight to the air, to the, to the sky now. I'm going to visit the moon. That's perfect, right? The Mach number is going down together with my speed is also going rapidly down but look at the altitude and I, I'm at the edge of the space it's getting darker and darker here and I'm already over the base which is somewhere below me I'm going to burn as much fuel as possible 70,000 feet that's perfect Soon my climb will stop. My AOA is really high, it's like 80. I can see my AOA here. It's 20, 20 degrees already. So I'm basically stuck. I can't climb anymore. Like I find like this. So I'm climbing level, straight. But my nose is really high still. So that's the maximum ceiling of this aircraft, basically 73,000 feet. Let's go down now. Let's see how fast this goes. Oh, 
1.9 and just as I'm going into the more denser air will be still harder and harder for me to reach like higher Bach numbers I'm like like rocket you see it's thousand knots at the ground level I'm 1.6 max That's the speed. That's the speed of the uh, Amram, basically. <laughs> it was amazing. Okay, so I was unable to reach the target. I was unable to do anything in this in this uh, battle, basically in, the, in this in this flight. So at least I just try this uh, typhoon. Uh, typhoon. This tornado, how it flies. Three five five. Vectors to right base. Okay. I have to be careful. The longer runway is damaged or destroyed, so I have to land on the shorter runway. It should be the right base from this direction now. Dolphin two two. Perform landing check. Dolphin two one. Plus. Dolphin two two. Return to base. Maybe I missed the final approach. Dolphin two one. Inbound for landing. Good afternoon, Dolphin 2-1. Boya Dokole, Power, you're number one to land. Check gear down. Please let me down. I will have to go around. I did something wrong, probably. Dolphin two one, climb to three thousand, maintain two nine or zero knots. Turn. Dolphin two one, declaring an emergency. Dolphin two one, Boya del Cole, approach. You are cleared for immediate landing. Runway one six left. Good luck, sir. Okay, one six left Good is the other side. Dolphin two one, Boya del Cole, power cleared for landing. Runway one six left. Tech so down. I'm landing from the wrong direction. I should be on the other side. Runway. Okay, let me quickly break. Runway is pretty short. And it's really short. <laughs> I will run out of it. So this is the runway excursion, which happens from time to time, <laughs> even in the in the real world. Let's go back. So I was landing from the wrong side of the runway. That's the problem number one. The problem number two was that I. Uh, did the runway excursion I wasn't able to break before the runway ended I'm still quite heavy like 6000 pounds of fuel is still too much so maybe I should fly on the afterburner for a little bit longer time But I made it home, so that's great. Look at these nice buildings for the uh, for the soldiers, probably. Mechanics, maybe for the pilots as well. Who knows? Maybe one room here is also mine. But I don't remember which one. <laughs> Just bet. 
Okay, let's see the outcome of the mission. It should be still in progress. Uh, probably failed. I will see they failed. Just because the target wasn't hit. Okay, failed, failed, poor. But both of the tornadoes were able to return home. Okay, I violated ATC protocol by landing from the other side. Okay, the split chemical plant is still here. I'm going to plan some other flight there. Maybe I'm going to take just the F-16. It's the best what I can take. Staying 4 1, engaging, MiG 21, bullseye, 025, 180 miles, 26,000. Okay, let's see what I can carry. I'm going to take the external fuel tank. I'm going to take these two Mark 84s and the uh, Together with six Amrams. That's it. Engaging. Okay, let's save. Let's save it. Guys, I will see you in my next video. I will fly this mission once again in F-16. Finally armed with Amram, so I might be able to defend myself as well, if necessary. And I'm pretty sure I will be able to reach this target and destroy it. So thank you for watching. As always, have fun, take care, and bye.